Hi guys, today we're going to learn about the Stockton Mine Disaster. This is located along Stockton Mountain Road in Hazel Township, just north of Club 40 Road. Around 5 a.m. on December 18th, 1869, the coal mines under this area caved in, swallowing multiple homes while the family slept inside. While accounts vary, it is believed that the homes fell hundreds of feet due to multiple levels of the mines collapsing. This memorial also serves as the grave marker for the six victims whose bodies were never recovered, including a Civil War veteran. Many believe this is the deepest land grave of any soldier in any war. The Stockton mines were supposedly abandoned for 15 years prior to the cave-in. However, it is believed that at the time of the collapse, miners were inside removing coal pillars, a mining method known as retreat mining, which may have caused the collapse. At the time, the village of Stockton consisted of multiple homes in this area. While anthracite mines underneath homes are common, and mines run underneath much of the area, the mines here were worked within just 20 feet of the surface, another contributing factor to the disaster. For reference, the iron fence here is 18 feet long. This is how much earth was left between the mines and the surface. The first two homes to fall belonged to the Swank and Ruff families, who were asleep at the time. When the homes fell, stoves inside lit the wreckage on fire. Between the fire, the depth, and the unstable ground surrounding the opening, rescue of occupants in the first homes was nearly impossible. The third home to fall belonged to the Wetterow family. Their daughter Mary had run back inside the home to get a new hat, according to newspapers. While she was inside, the home partially fell into the cave-in, trapping her under wreckage within the hole. Rescuers were lowered down and worked on top of the burning wreckage to free the child. Mary Wetterow was the only victim to be rescued from the pit. She lived to become a grandmother. Although the marker only has six names on it, it's believed that 10 individuals died in the Stockton mine disaster. Those are the Swank family, the Ruff family, and two miners who were inside the mine at the time. For three days, Hazelton's fire engine threw water onto the fire while the ground continued to cave, threatening rescuing parties. Some bodies were recovered, including Mrs. Swank and two of the Swank's children. The daughter was found holding her infant brother. Both were crushed from the wreckage and burned from the fire. Rescuers believed that neither had even awoken from the crash. Due to the hole continuing to spread and the danger to rescuers, it was finally decided that the remaining dead could not be reached. The hole was filled and a marble slab was placed over the spot as a grave marker for the six victims whose bodies were never able to be recovered. The Stockton mine disaster was covered nationally. At the time that the marble slab was erected, they decided to only place the names of those who were still buried here on it because they thought that no one would ever forget what happened here. Now all that remains is the marble slab with the name of the six individuals whose bodies are still here and a military marker for Isaac Ruff, who was a Civil War veteran. The sources for this video are in the description below. If you'd like to see any other historical locations covered in a video, comment them below. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe and tell your friends. Thanks for watching.